<laughs> Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. I'm about to read the cards for you. This reading is for the waxing gibbous moon or the second quarter leading up to the full moon in Capricorn. Um, this is going to be a message from Spirit to help you with your moon manifestation practice. If you were with us last week and you were you set an intention for the new moon in Cancer, this reading is going to tie right with that. It's going to help you along to help you to uh, move into the next moon phase. Um, if it doesn't, if you don't have, if you haven't participated in that moon manifestation practice and you don't have a, an intention set to go along with that, don't worry about it. Just treat it as any other tarot reading where if the message resonates with you, then it is for you. Okay. Um, this is the second quarter moon, the waxing gibbous moon. So this is where we are in the, in the process of manifesting with the moon. We're at the stage now where our intentions were set last time. And so we have, we have to find the strength to keep moving forward. Now we're going to possibly running into some obstacles. We're going to have to refine our technique, maybe rethink a strategy. Um, consider different approaches maybe um, but the main thing is to um, rely on to to bring strength we have to use our strength and just keep going just keep going till we get to our to our our goal so that our intention will manifest okay so this will be the mood I'm gonna I found this mudra where I shuffled and spirit gave us this to uh, work on as a collective and we'll talk about this a little bit more later um, also during this phase of the moon which i'm calling the waxing gibbous moon is um, the the moon will be trans transiting through the energies of uh, libra scorpio and sagittarius so for you scorpio you will also you will have um, during this time there'll be a few days when you're intense emotions and intuition are going to be even more powerful and that's going to give you a lot of a, a lot of power power for overcoming fears bad habits things like that um, just be careful not to uh, slip into the tendency that some scorpios have of uh, you know brooding or plotting revenge or anything like that so just um Keep that in mind that you're going to be dealing with those sorts of emotions. And then, of course, we'll go into Sagittarius and get a burst of optimism after that. So that'll be great. All right. So uh, use use your gifts to your advantage, Scorpio. And, uh, you know, use your intuition, your, in, your intensity to um, overcome fears and, and, and things that you want to get rid of in your life. Okay. All right. So that being said, let's go ahead and get the cards that we're going to do a spread uh, about. We're going to find out some advice from the universe because we want to need, we need help to guide us from that uh, new moon phase to the full moon phase. We want guidance to help us with, th through the obstacles and to give us, uh, you know, a different approach, give us a new perspective, tell us what actions we want to take. So Spirit's going to tell us what we need to know right now. All right, thank you. Thank you, Sp uh, Spirit, for that. What does Scorpio need to know most right now? All right, let's go. Go ahead, Scorpio, what do you need? Okay. Okay, Spirit says, gives us the Four of Swords, okay, and Spirit says the Queen of, Queen of Wands, Queen of Rods, and we have the Six of Cups, okay, okay, what we need to know. A new perspective. Mm -hmm. An action to take. All right. Okay. So what I'm think, what I'm seeing here is, um, what you need to know right now is, um, this is a good time for you to 
maybe do some some meditation relaxing resting waiting waiting silently waiting patiently um, healing um, this uh, the Queen of Rods is the new perspective what we may not be able to see and is something something that we need to use to shift our perspective about the situation so during this time of meditation and introspection healing we need to be also considering this new perspective of this fiery and passionate queen of rods energy and for taking action we need to consider the six of cups we need to be you know I think we need to be learning give and take understanding that spirit is protecting us um, um, we're going to be sharing we need to share love with each other remember our childlike uh, remember our childhood uh, dreams and wishes okay all right so what you need to know right now is that it's you could you need to um, take time to reflect and um, meditate heal recover rejuvenate yourself okay and the Queen of Rods is <clears throat> she is uh, devoted also and she's loyal to her friends she's passionate and loving she's warm this also signifies success in business because she has that passion and she she um, she doesn't let other people get in her way she's passionate and the six of cups so some action on the uh, that you can take is to reflect on the past and um, things that have vanished okay so let's go ahead and look at what the uh, spirit has to say with this other deck that another deck this is the woodland wardens deck and this this will help us with uh, you know to find out some more advice um, for Scorpio at this time and what you're going through and what you're dealing with during this moon phase and how it might affect your into your into your intention for the month Scorpio so what does Scorpio what best would uh, Scorpio need to know right now okay yeah this is pretty cool the hound and the pair loyalty um, I was picking up loyalty from this Queen of Rods as well. The uh, loyalty that she has towards her friends and family and her business. And then this is also like a family thing. This Six of Cups um, action to take. Looking back um, at life, at yourself, you know, nostalgically. Looking at what things have left um, adaptability spirit gave you the hound and the pair which is loyalty the fox and ivy which is adaptability so for the hound and the pair you have uh, the number 23 and here we have the number 27 okay 23 and 27 let's look at the guidebook and see what the hound and the fox have to tell us today 23 the hound Ok, 
Okay. <clears throat> loyalty. The hound is the ultimate symbol of loyalty and friendship. Stories abound in folklore and throughout history of dogs protecting their companions, saving children, and alerting their masters to danger. The legend of St. Guinefort is, is one such story. This 13th century French greyhound saved his owner's infant son from an attack by a viper. When the owner came upon the scene, he found Guinefort with bloody jaws sitting beside the empty cradle. Believing the hound to be the murderer, the owner killed Guinefort. Only later, when he heard his son's cries and discovered him beneath the cradle next to the dead snake, did he realize his tragic mistake. <clears throat> like the faithful hound, the pair is a symbol of care and affection. Often given as a gift, it is sweet but easily bruised, requiring tenderness from its handler. A friendship is flourishing. Your kindness and loyalty have been noted, and your friend appreciates you. And also think about this. You may be harshly or irrationally judging those closest to you. While you might feel undeserving of kindness or friendship, this life is too difficult to face alone. Accept companionship and avoid lashing out at those who care for you. So, Scorpio, ask yourself, am I loyal to my friends? That's the perspective that this card provides, too. I know we don't normally think about the Queen of Wands as in, in this way. But um, with this uh, Aquarian Tarot, that's one of the major uh, descriptions for the Queen of Rods, is that she's loyal to her friends and family. And so that's Spirit's asking you to take time out, think about, um, you know, um, being affectionate and caring towards your friends and family right now, uh, being loyal to them, uh, appreciating them and accepting them. And um, um, most likely you're, you know, this, this reading is saying is, uh, reassuring you that you are um, appreciated by your friends, but also it's asking you to ask to ask yourself: Are you are you lo Am I loyal to my friends? And also, how can I improve my friendships so that my companions feel loved and appreciated? And with the Six of Cups, it's like uh, it's also nostalgia and childhood memories and and things like that. Uh, it also makes me think about giving and taking, you know, gifts uh, um, on the rider of weight, the little boy and the little girl. It looks like uh, one child is giving the flowers to the other and flowers are, you know, love and uh, they represent love and beauty. So these are the things that you want to uh, focus on right now, Scorpio, is, um, you know, looking at things from the a perspective of being loyal and, and, you know, embracing the loyalty that you have, that you do express. And the hound and the pair reminds us that um, uh, loyalty and gifts and beauty are, are very much appreciated whenever they, they do occur. So whoever receives that loyalty really appreciates it. Okay, the, the fox and ivy is indicating of adaptability. I'm going to look into that right now. 27, adaptability. Okay. Okay, adaptability. Foxes are cunning, quick thinking, and clever. When paired with ivy... A hardy plant that flourishes even in harsh environments. The fox reminds us to apply our cleverness toward adaptability. So, Scorpio, you are a clever uh, sign. You are uh, very intelligent. So, uh, allow the fox in, a fox's ingenuity to guide you. Think of this as your spirit animal right now. Allow his ingenuity to guide you 
nimbleness and adaptability will suit you well in your endeavors. Okay, also keep in mind there's a possibility that uh, if you feel stuck, your stubbornness may be holding you back. Remain open-minded and beware of becoming stuck in our ways. So that reminds us of that Six of Cups to think about the things that have changed from the past, you know. Um, don't, don't uh, you know, want, you want to be adaptable because things are always changing. And, and so how can you adapt to the changes in your life? Okay. All right, let's go ahead and, you know, let's keep these, these things in mind while we check in with the angel oracle messages. These are, these cards come, they have messages from the angels to help us to put this together, to guide us further, to give us the strength we need to push through uh, this time and to get to where we want to go. So with that, uh, what do you have for Scorpio spirit? Spirit, thank you. Scorpio. Okay, here we go. Ground yourself. When you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. Okay. So that's some more advice for you from Spirit uh, at this time, Scorpio. Okay, I hope you find that helpful, useful, resonating. If you don't, if it doesn't resonate, then it's not for you, of course. But if it does, then it definitely is your message. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next uh, phase of this reading here. Like we did last time, I'm going to do a two-card spread for you on the Career and Life Oracle. Let's go ahead and see what we have. Oh, let's see. Okay, come on. This is a career and life oracle for Scorpio during this time. One more card, please, Spirit. Thank you. All right, there we go. I think that's it. Okay, so Spirit gives you wealth. You are working towards real wealth and prosperity in your life. Keep investing in yourself and look into long-term career planning. So those are some nice looking gold bars for you there, Scorpio. Very good. Wealth is in your future and your presence. You're wealthy now. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, see what the next one is. Strategy. You need a step-by-step -step plan of attack to reach the next level. Get the advice of someone who is already where you want to go. Okay. All right. That's uh, all for that part of the reading, Scorpio. I hope you appreciate that, and I hope you got something out of that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, um, before uh, before long, I'm going to give you, a. Uh, we're going to ask the Spirit another question. Last week, it was a yes or no question. This week, it's going to be about timing. So if you have a question that you can ask for Spirit about when something will happen, or when will something come to be? When will, what time frame do I have to look forward to for this or that? Uh, think about that kind of a question. Formulate that for yourself. And Spirit's going to answer that for us. I've got a prophecy stone here to help us with that. And next, in the meantime, while you're coming up with that question, I'm going to talk to you about this mudra. Like I, I think I might have said earlier that this was selected by Spirit for, for the whole collective. And we are in this uh, moon phase is going, moving through Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. And then it's going to culminate with the full moon in Capricorn for our next video. Uh, in the meantime, we are going to use um, this mudra to help us with balance. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and see if we can form this. This is like, uh, this looks like the ring finger and the thumb coming together here. So there is our mudra for balance. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read that. This is an earth mudra. And it says, the Prithivi mudra sharpens one's sense of smell and is good for the liver nails, skin, hair, and bones. 
On a mental spiritual level, it helps one to find equanimity and cope with changing moods. Our frame of mind determines our quality of life. We have considerable control over this through our thoughts. It is up to us to decide where to put the emphasis, to decide what is important and genuine, what does us good, and what gives us fulfillment. Easier said than done, perhaps, but it's well worth trying. You are sitting in your boat and rowing slowly and steadily toward your dream island. There you can find all that your heart desires. My life is a gift. I respect and value this gift and make the best of it. Okay, so there is your mudra, Scorpio. Okay, so I hope you're ready for your question, your question about timing. I'm about to shuffle the cards and pull one to see what Spirit has to tell us about our question of timing for Scorpio. Okay, for Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. Spirit says, in July, that's this month. So whatever your question was, the answer is in July. Now, if it seems like it's a far-fetched question or like a far-away question, maybe it means next July. But it could just mean this month. In July. In July is your question, is your answer. All right, that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> all right so Scorpio thank you thank you so much for coming I hope you got something out of this I hope you found it educational entertaining or helpful in some way um, I, I would ask that if you did find it if it resonates with you and, and you did enjoy the video to please like the chat like the video so that uh, it will help to boost my channel of course and I appreciate your coming. I hope that you will subscribe and follow along with me to the next moon phase, the next, the full moon phase, and see what uh, Spirit has in store for us in that area. So please subscribe to the channel. Uh, click the notification bell so that you will be aware when the next one comes out. And also, um, I just want to wish the best for you, Scorpio. I hope that you have a beautiful next several days. And I will see you again next time. Um, with that, uh, all of that, I love you. I appreciate you. Love and light.